Should you do a rewrite? There's a lot of people that will say, no, absolutely not. I'm Derek Martin from CodeOpinion.com, and as someone that's done a large rewrite, I got to provide some nuance to this because there's a lot more thoughts and considerations that are involved on whether you should or shouldn't do a rewrite. If you're old like me, you've probably read this from Joe Spolsky. It actually goes back 24 years now, which is the things you should never do. And when I said at the intro that a lot of people say no immediately to a rewrite, they're really referencing because of this, which is um, they made the single worst strategic mistake any software can make. They decided to rewrite the code from scratch. Now, I want to actually focus on one particular part of this, which I think is very true, and I'm going to elaborate on this. It's more important to remember that when you start from scratch, there's absolutely no reason to believe that you're going to do a better job than you did the first time. Before I get into why I think that's so true, I'd like to thank Event Store for sponsoring this video. Event Store DB is a new category of operational database built for event sourcing, CQRS, and event-driven microservices. For more on Event Store DB, check out the link in the description. Countless times when I was a junior developer, would I want to rewrite a portion of code, large portion of code, or even an entire system, simply because I was ignorant and thought the code was bad, when in reality, I just didn't understand it. And of course, if you have a blank slate, starting to write something fresh from scratch is easier than really having to dig in, get into the code base, all the complexity, the edge cases. It's really difficult. Rather, the immediate response, which I've seen on numerous occasions from other developers, is thinking, hey, this code base is a tire fire, so let's start from scratch, when in reality is, you just don't understand it. But if you've been in a system a really long time, you understand the complexity, the domain complexity, you understand where all the warts are in that system, then that's where the nuance comes in. You can say, yes, this thing is a tire fire and is holding us back. Maybe it is appropriate to do a rewrite. And that brings us to worse is better. Because if you're in a large system that's been developed for years and you're about to rewrite it, there's something to consider. Because your existing system is probably in that 80-20 Pareto principle where 80% of the value probably only comes from 20% of the code base and functionality. So the idea of worse is better is that there's a point where less functionality, worse, is preferable option better in terms of the practicality and usability. Software that is limited but simple to use may be more appealing to the user and market than the reverse. So if you have a lot of experience in that existing system, you have a lot of domain knowledge, you do understand where the real value is and you're gonna do a rewrite and you're really gonna focus on that core where all that value is, is the rewrite an option? Maybe it is. But often what this will come down to is just pure cost benefit. What's the cost of the rewrite and what's the benefit? I'm gonna to allude to this more in a minute about my experience, but one of them can just be the reason is technology gap. Where your competitive advantage was maybe is you're using such older technology that you really can't innovate doing anything with it and it's really handcuffing you. I often go back to this post by Greg Young from 11 years ago now, where he's talking about a prototype that went into production, who can relate to that, and they had a lot of pain with it for various reasons and they decided to rewrite it that took nine months. This is what he had to say. What really mattered was after our nine months of beautiful architecture and code work, we were approximately making 10,000 more a month than what our stupid production prototype made of all of its, with all its shortcomings. We would have been better off making 30 new production prototypes of different strategies, and I love this, and throwing shit against the wall to see what worked than spending any time beyond a bit of stabilizing of that first, that prototype. How many new business opportunities will we have found? What I take from this is sometimes software is good enough. Even though developers love having things perfect or gold-plated, whatever they're thinking of, sometimes things are just good enough. In their context, they had all the experience. They had all the domain knowledge, but it didn't really matter. And like he said, to him, they'd be better off just throwing shit out the wall and trying different things. Now, there's also sometimes a thought that old is bad and new and shiny is good. However, that's just not really the case. As an example, I integrate with two third-party services for the exact same purpose. One I can tell is relatively modern. I'm assuming it's written in Python or something of that nature. It's returning JSON as responses and the requests. That's what's being used. And then I'm also using another third-party service for the exact same purpose, generally passing the exact same data in XML that I believe was originally developed in the late 1990s in using cold fusion. 
Now, at the end of the day, me as a consumer using these two different uh, third-party services for what they provide, the value that they provide to me as a consumer and to my customers, they're totally fine. They're both equivalent. There's nothing very different about them. They're stable ideas that they're revolving around these third-party services. So one that's newer and one that's older, to me, it makes absolutely no difference. So that one that's been written in Cold Fusion in the late 90s, does it need to evolve and change? No, because one that was just recently written does the exact same thing. I mentioned at the very beginning that I was a part of a large rewrite. The context of that is I was in that existing system, that domain, for about six, seven years before we decided to do the rewrite, which took about 14 months. The reason was technology gap. This is kind of in the early mid 2000s where e-commerce was more prevalent and we didn't have any meaningful way of integrating anything external, payments, et cetera, uh, anything online with this external system, internal system that was prim primarily offline. It just had no means of doing anything meaningful with any online systems, any online suppliers. So we really did have to rebuild something new for this purpose. So should you do a rewrite? I don't think the clear cut answer is no. I think you should be cautious in making that decision because of course context matters and there's a lot of nuance. If you're in a position to make these types of decisions and you wanna chat with other software developers about decision making, software architecture and design, you can join my channel and get access to a private Discord server. Links in the description on how to join. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, make sure to leave a comment and please subscribe for more videos on software architecture and design. Thanks.